Hello. Hello. I'm Myron. I'm Vanessa. Most Singaporeans love HDB because it offers a lot of space for a very low price per square foot. Today we are going to talk about whether is it possible to own a HDB and condo at the same time. A lot of people are not aware, but as long as you form a family nucleus, such as a married couple or a parent and child, you can actually put one party as the owner and the other party as the essential occupier. So that after the 5 years MOP period, the essential occupier can purchase a property under their name without having to pay the ABSD. For those who have to use joint names because of CPF usage and loan, you can still buy a private property after the 5-year MOP period as long as you pay the additional buyer stamp duty. The additional buyer stamp duty for the second property is 17%. For $1 million property, it will be $170,000. Private property owners are not allowed to hold both HDB and private property at the same time. If you are downgrading from a condo to a HDB, you do not have to pay any additional buyer stamp duty. HDB will assume that you are selling your condo, so just make sure to sell your condo within 6 months from completion date. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.